While most terrestrial orchids are difficult to grow, this species, Bletula striata, also known as the Chinese ground orchid, is perhaps the easiest species of all terrestrial orchid to cultivate, uh, and today's video will focus on this plant. The intense purple-pink flowers are born alternately and sequentially on the stem and give the plant its Japanese name Shiran, meaning purple orchid. Plants grown in full sun flower generously, but also are magnets for aphids, as can be seen in this uh, cluster of flowers. Large amounts of seed is produced every year and can be sown directly into garden soil, unlike other orchids that demand aseptic laboratory conditions. Okay, let's look at some of the more uh, unusual and rare varieties of uh, Bletalistriata. Here is a form called uh, Murasaki Shikibu. This plant was first found in uh, Oita Prefecture in Kyushu. Uh, it uh, is supposed to come uh, true from seed, and I believe it to be a true form of the species. The flowers have a, a light blue cerulean type lavender cast about them, and as you can see, they tend to be held in a more upright uh, stance than for uh, compared to the normal variety. Also notice that the flowers uh, tend to be more tightly clustered than the typical forms. The other well-known uh, blue flowered or blue cast form is this uh, soju. Um, this is, uh, well, here you can see the plant, it's actually quite easy to grow and clumps fairly well tends to be a bit smaller in stature than um, the typical uh, Bletula striata and I was told to grow it a little bit more shady uh, it doesn't seem to respond as well with sunlight but I haven't really noticed that uh, here you can see it in comparison to uh, Murasaki Shikibu which is a much uh, beefier plant um, but uh, the flower stalks tend to be a little bit shorter in fact so it's more stocky um, there is the possibility that soju is in fact a uh, hybrid. Uh, I've talked to a number of um, growers and uh, there seems to be some consensus that this may not actually be a pure blood lustriata. Supposedly it was found in Wakayama Ken, which is uh, or Wakayama Prefecture, which is up in uh, the Honshu uh, island area. Uh, the flowers on this form are quite different from Murasaki Shikibu. They're uh, much more spaced out on the um, flower stem. Um, the uh, Everything about the plant is much more gracile and uh, you can see that the, uh, the lip has a different structure to it as well. It definitely has a deeper purple cast and more pointed segments uh, let me go ahead and run over real quick to Murasaki Shikibu and you can see. So here actually, hold on. Here are the two flowers together and you can see the big difference between the two of them. Murasaki Shikibu much more beefy and stout and so do you more of a spidery affair. Uh, here's another variety that's fairly commonly available in the West. This is variety uh, Rosia. Um, Flowers got hit a little bit by aphids and uh, fungi this year, but uh, yeah, another pretty one. Uh, very pale colored with that purple rim around the, the lip. Here's a deeper colored flowered form, unnamed. Very beautiful. And a close up of the uh, semi alba and flower. You can see it's a semi alba because there is a tinge of pink on the. Uh, tip of the column there. Another interesting form is this uh, type that has marginal variegation on the uh, the flowers themselves again known as uh, Fukurin variegation uh, in Japanese. 
Another interesting form is this trilips, which is a pyloric flower. That is, it has three lips instead of three petals, plus also the sepals. Um, this form <coughs> has uh, no viable pollen, but it can receive pollen, so it can be a seed parent. The flowers tend to be displayed in a more vertical fashion, so they don't uh, aren't held so nicely. Um, however, it is a, a very deep color, very rich lavender, and uh, quite interesting form. The hybrid between uh, Bletula striata and the Chinese yellow-flowered Bletula acracia is this uh, Bletula brigantis. Um, I have found these to be uh, no more difficult to grow and keep than other Bletula. Um, perhaps a little bit slower to expand, but a very worthwhile plant growing with the lovely yellow contrast in the lip and otherwise uh, purple-pink flower. Finally, here is the Chinese species Bletula acracia. Yellow flowering. Um, nice lip on these. Some forms of Bletilocracia flush a purple color. Uh, you can see they retain that uh, reddish brown color on the lowest part of the stem and the leaves from when they first flush. Uh, here's my patch of Bletula striata at my house. Um, the form in the foreground with the purple flowers is Albo striata, which is this uh, marginal variegated leaf form, and in the back there is a kind of a semi alba form. Um, these plants are uh, really easy to grow. I mean, you can see that they started um, just a very small clumps about five or six years ago, and now they have expanded very far. They also are um, magnets for uh, aphids and then the ants that uh, farm the aphids. But this is such a strong plant that it really doesn't affect it in the long run. There's the uh, marginal leaf variegation, which is known as Fukuden in uh, Japanese. And uh, here is the uh, flowering of this plant. Very lovely, very vigorous. This is an example of how uh, Bletula or any terrestrial orchid should go dormant. As you can see, the leaves are turning from a yellow to a green and then a brown. Uh, this is a healthy way for a plant to go dormant. If it goes from green to straight kind of a black or brown, that means that the plant has not had the chance to transfer its nutrients from the leaves into the rootstock. So this is the kind of um, dormancy you want to see in a deciduous orchid. Uh, normally I wouldn't mess with a plant this time of year. Uh, this is just after flowering in uh, June. But I wanted to show you the basic structure of a Bletula root system. You can see that the um, the rhizome is bulbous, and uh, there are a number of uh, roots coming off. You can see the new roots coming there. Um, these can be uh, stripped of their roots in the fall and dried. Um, whether they have uh, growing eyes or not is irrelevant. They will come back. This is one strong plant and here you can see the uh, the growth so normally I would not do it this time of year but this is such a, uh, a strong plant that it's actually not going to hurt it uh, this kind of ill treatment even this time of year amazingly enough really really sturdy species